Hey, I'm Nate Savage, and welcome to this lesson on finger style guitar. This is a great style to get into if you play acoustic or electric guitar. And you know, it can be really piano-like. If you want to accompany a singer or yourself when you sing, it's a little bit nicer than doing just strumming. Or if you want to get into more solo acoustic or electric guitar, it's really good for that too. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the most important things that you need to know to start getting into finger style guitar. And we're going to be hitting a lot of things here, so you know, feel free to take it one step at a time and come back to this video as often as you need to. I have a jam track for you at the end of this lesson too, that way you can practice all the stuff we go over to some music instead of just a metronome. To start off, I just want to go over some basic technique with you for your thumb and fingers, and just so you know, I'm going to be approaching this from more of a classical viewpoint than a folk style finger, finger picking, right? So the difference between that is on classical guitar, you hold your arm kind of straight and just float your fingers to the strings, nothing's resting or touching anything. Folk style generally rests your finger on top of the guitar or your wrist like that. So just be aware of that. You don't have to use classical, you can really use either one you want, but those are the two basic options. Before we get into some thumb technique, I just want to go over either using nails or not using nails when you play finger style guitar. I have my nails growing out right now, but that's not always the case. Sometimes if I'm playing a lot of bass, I'll have to cut my nails and I'll end up playing finger style guitar with no fingernails growing out. And it's really up to you which one you end up using, which tone you prefer. You're gonna to have to experiment for yourself and see if you like having nails and the brighter sound it gives you, or if you like having no nails and playing with just your fingertips and the darker sound that it gives you. Now on to some basic thumb technique. When you see a piece of sheet music, if you're supposed to play a note with your thumb, it's labeled as a P, so just keep an eye out for that. The first step is to just start with a nice neutral position with your arm, just a straight arm, kind of relaxed like you're holding a ball or something, and just bring your hand to the guitar. And I like to rest my first, second, and third fingers on the high strings right there, just as a point of reference. And bring your thumb to the low E string. Pretty straight, not curved too far this way, and not curved too far this way. You want it to be really relaxed and natural. And if you have nails, my skin on my thumb hits the string right before my nail does. And most of the motion is coming from this big back joint right here. So you're gonna to wanna to experiment with that and get used to that feeling and that new motion if this is new for you. Just stay on one string over and over again and get used to that until you start to get pretty accurate and a pretty consistent tone. And then the next step after that is to just move around the strings. Generally, with your thumb, you're gonna get the three lowest strings. And what you're gonna to need to do is work on your aim slowly so you can accurately hit whichever string you're aiming for. I have an exercise here that you can use in your daily practice to get your thumb technique pretty polished. And all you're gonna do is play a measure of quarter notes with your thumb on the low E string, and then move to the A string, do the same thing, one measure of quarter notes. Move to the D string, play a whole measure of quarter notes, and then back down to the A string. That's the end of the exercise. It's only four measures long. And then you just repeat this over and over again. Go as slowly as you need to with this. That's the first step, just getting your thumb technique down and getting your aim good to where you can hit the bass notes that you mean to hit. The next step is doing the same thing, but with your fingers, your first, second, and third fingers for this video. We're gonna concentrate on just the first finger and you can apply that technique to your second and third fingers in your practice time. When you look at a piece of music for finger style guitar, you can tell you're supposed to use your first, second, or third fingers by the letters I for your first finger, M, for your middle finger, and A for your third finger. Let's start the same way we did with our thumb, just a nice, neutral, relaxed, straight arm position, not kinked too far one way or the other. And just bring your hand to the strings, rest your thumb on that low string, and then your first, second, and third fingers will just fall on the highest strings. And I'm gonna kinda let the second and third fingers just relax. And my first finger, here's a really good position to check out. 
for a more classical style finger style approach. What you're going to do is just prepare your finger on that string to where your skin is just touching and then it hits it right before your fingernail if you're using nails. If not, just use your fingertip. And you can see most of the motion is coming from this big knuckle and my second knuckle here. Just concentrate on getting a really good tone. Make sure not to bend your wrist too far one way or the other. And just work on that over and over again until you start to get that coordination down. And one good thing you can do is alternate on the high strings. So go to the B string and do the same thing with your index finger. Then go to the high E string. And you're just programming in your technique so you can play other finger style stuff later on. And you're going to want to go through the same process with your second and third fingers too. So that's what this will look like. Go to the G string with your middle finger. These are called free strokes, by the way. Next string. You know, you can spend five minutes a day doing this kind of stuff until you start to get a feel for it. See how my hand is relaxed and my other fingers are kind of sympathetically moving with whichever finger is hitting the string. And same thing with your third finger. Take some time to develop your thumb and finger technique. You know, a couple days, a couple weeks, even a couple of months. And when you're comfortable with that, you can tackle this next exercise that I'm gonna show you. I use this one to warm up for finger style playing all the time. It's great for building dexterity, speed, and strength. The idea here is to alternate between your thumb and your finger or fingers. And you can start with just one finger if you like, but hit the low E string with your thumb and have your first finger prepared on the G string. And I'm just gonna play these open. So thumb, index finger. And as soon as I hit with my index finger, my thumb automatically comes back to prepare to do the same thing again. And now when I play that next note with my thumb, my index finger automatically throws out and comes and prepares to play that next note. And this just kind of alternates back and forth like that. That's the basic version of this exercise. You can do that with your index finger and thumb. You're going to want to do it with your thumb and middle finger and thumb and ring finger too. But the main version of this exercise uses all three of your fingers at once. So you have thumb then all three fingers at once. As soon as your fingers hit, your thumb comes back and prepares on that low E string. And as soon as your thumb hits, your fingers go out and prepare to grab the strings again. And you can alternate on the low E string to the A and D strings too. Put a chord on if you like, it's a little more fun that way. That's a really simple exercise, but it's great for calibrating your fingers to the guitar and building strength and accuracy too. The next little thing I wanna go over is a staple of finger style guitar and it's called rolling. This is a little more advanced, so you may want to spend some time with the preceding exercises before you get into this. And the first version of this we're going to do is called rolling up. And I'll show you what it is real quick and then I'll explain it to you. All I'm really doing is starting with my thumb, and I have a C chord on. So I'm starting with my thumb on that C note on the fifth string. And then first finger, second finger, third finger on the high three strings. Just rolling up in order. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Over and over again. And it may take you some time to get this really smooth, but that's okay. That's where this exercise is going to help you. Start really slow and make it as even as possible. And notice when my thumb hits down, all my fingers come prepare on the strings. So take some time with that, add it to your daily routine when you're ready. And you can also do this descending or rolling down. And it's the same thing, you're just gonna start with your third finger, your ring finger, 
middle finger, index finger, then your thumb. Same exact thing, just backwards. The key here is to start very slow and very deliberate. Make sure to do that and you'll thank yourself because you'll build that coordination a lot faster. The final version of rolling is rolling up and down or combining those last two exercises. So I'm gonna put my C chord back on, roll up, and then come right back down. And you can do this on any chord you want. That's what makes rolling so cool. It's a nice alternate to just strumming some chords, you know. Take your time with this. I know this is a lot of information and a lot of new techniques to go through. And, you know, work on all the things we've covered up to this point. And when you're ready, you can come back and try doing this rolling. The final area of fingerstyle guitar that I want to kind of go over and expose you to is something called constant bass. And we're kind of imitating a piano here because, you know, a piano player has the bass notes in their left hand usually and the melody in their right. What we're going to do is keep some constant bass going with our thumb for the foundation. And then what you can do is add a melody on top if you want. The first step to being able to do this is to just work on getting that constant bass down. So for our example, I just have a C chord on and put that C chord on you can just work on hitting that fifth string over and over again, really constant, really even and in time. And if you change chords to a G, I'd probably go down to the third fret of the low E string on that G note for my bass and then go back to the C, you know? Play slow and steady notes and make sure they're even in time and volume. I have an exercise for you. All it is is quarter notes for four measures on this C note on the third fret of the fifth string. So one, two, three, four. The second step for our constant bass technique for fingerstyle stuff is to put a melody on top and I have a very simple example for you. All we're gonna do is keep that same example we just played, four quarter notes on the bass, and we're gonna throw in this top C note on the first fret of the B string in our C chord on the one of every measure. And you can use whichever finger you want. You can use your index finger, middle finger, or third finger. I tend to use my middle finger just because I'm usually set up like this, one, two, three, and my middle finger happens to get that B string. So one, two, three, four, get that constant bass going, and then throw in that middle finger on that C note on the ones. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. This is a really basic example of how to use constant bass with a melody on top. And it may take you a while to build this coordination, but you know, take it as slowly as you need to and be as deliberate as you need to, to where you can get this down. And once you have this basic melody down where you're only playing on the one of every measure, you know, try and throw it in some more notes on the melody. You may end up with something like this. To help you practice everything we've gone over in this lesson, I have a jam track for you. It's in 6-8 time. That just makes it a little bit easier to do the rolling up and down because when you roll up and down, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. But you can use this jam track for every exercise we've gone over in this lesson. I'll pull it up for you right now and walk you through it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start out just working on your thumb. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Then, you know, work on your fingers too. you're comfortable with that, get into some rolling. One, two, three, four, five, six, roll up. Roll down two. And you can roll up and down. Then you can get some constant bass going. Take your time with this and really work on developing these exercises with this jam track. And then once you're comfortable with that, you know, move on and throw some other chords in. And more importantly, pick out a finger style song that you want to learn that inspires you to practice. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more lessons like this, like the video, subscribe, or you can always visit guitarlessons.com. If you have any questions about fingerstyle guitar, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Later.